Hi, welcome to another FCCA video. This video is catered more towards parents because I see it a lot in my day-to-day -day life of coaching cricket. Um, parents going around the boundary or at training sessions, shouting out instructions, gesticulating to their sons or daughters on how to go about the game. Now, I fully understand that you have, you know, your child's interest at heart, but what you're not getting is that doesn't help him or her. Now, this game is all about instincts. So we train our instincts to make the right call at the right moment. And what we need is a free mind. So all these gesticulating, all these shouting instructions is not going to help the child have a free mind in order to go and express himself or herself while batting, bowling, fielding. I had the good fortune of playing cricket with a friend of mine whose dad was a first class cricketer and one of the best advice he gave my friend was this was when he was in year seven and we were in the school side together and he said to him that when I open the door when you come back after a game by seeing your face I should not be able to say whether you've got a zero or a hundred because at the end of the day you'll have a warm bed to sleep on you've got food on the table and you've got parents who love you okay that you got to keep in mind and if you can't stay neutral don't play the game and this was coming from a guy who had actually played first class cricket for an Indian state at that point I didn't understand how important it was but today I understand that when I see a lot of parents right who have their child's best interest at heart obviously but the way they go about it they are actually not helping the child to perform it's quite similar to the fact that if your child is not well you go and take him or her to the doctor right you trust the doctor now you don't go and give your own views on the medicine the doctor has prescribed and change the medicine, right? It's very similar to that. So if you have found a proper coach, trust him or her and let your child go and play, right? Do not put this additional pressure from around the boundary or in the training area on him or her because you're not doing any favors to him. You are actually hindering their progress. At the same time, you got to find a proper coach because in England, it's very easy to get a coaching badge. Like I myself, I'll be honest, I've got a hockey coaching badge and I know nothing about the game of hockey. I promise you, the only thing I know is played by 11 men or women. Right, but I know nothing about the game of hockey, right? But I've got a coaching badge. Now, don't go to anyone like me on the cricket side of things. Find out a proper coach and then trust the coach, right? Otherwise, what you will be doing is not helping your child go forward. You're gonna pull your child backwards. So please do keep this in mind because I see it every day and I'm doing this just to make sure that the player is not affected. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please do share, comment, like and you know what to do. So please do it.